Yeah, holy crap. What about that? Take us to the last 500 meters if you could. Hey, I was in the front, like, for a lot of it. <laughs> and, and you're also in the front when it mattered most at the end. Tell us the last 500. You know, I was talking with Vig a lot the last few days about, like, how we thought the race was going to go. You know, it's been a little bit of a wacky year for everybody. Um, and, you know, I had a lot of question marks coming in. But, you know, we didn't quite know how the race was going to go. We weren't sure if someone was going to be like last year, try and run hard from the front. Uh, if it was going to be like 210 at the 800 or whatnot. And we're just like, you know, be confident in yourself. It's like, I'm really fit. My races may not have been indicating that, but I've been running well in practice. Uh, you know, my teammates had some awesome PRs this year. Sorry. Russell ran 140, Russell Dinkins ran 146. Patrick Rowe ran 147. Anthony Koslack, 402. Like, you know, I have a great group of guys. Bidge always believes in me. And I was out in lane three for some of it, and I was like, well, what's the difference between lane three and lane one? Let's go for it. Um, and I was expecting Matt or Ben or Christian or someone to take it pretty far out, and they did that, and I just tucked in and stayed as patient as I could. Um, and, I mean, Matthew's the Olympic champion. Uh, I'm not going to take anything for granted. You know, at, at one point I was racing for third. And then I was like, oh, I can get him. I'll go for second. And then I'm like, I can win this thing. And last 50, you know, Vidge made sure to tell me, make sure you have the best last 50 in the whole race. And I made sure I did. <laughs> he's, he's, you know, he's been banged up. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a, a true battle. You know, he's, he's definitely said he's been banged up. But, you know, it feels really good to win a race. And uh, mostly I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and get the standard as quick as I can and, uh, you know, represent the country at uh, London. Hey, man, winning's always fun. It's been a while since I've won. It's, I'm not going to lie. You know, but running, getting second behind Matthew, it's, you know, I've gotten second to the Olympic champion a few times. It's, what, you know. What, where, where are you going to run for the standard run? Uh, the summer series in uh, Portland on the second and um, New York on the sixth. Oh, really? Okay. Or yeah, yeah. They kind of they blitzed me a little bit. It was uh, not a ton of time to react, but I didn't get worse than fifth, I don't think. And I just tried to stay as you know relaxed as I could while trying to maintain. You know, they were accelerating pretty hard. I don't know if we closed in, but you know they were running pretty hard from 600 out. Very similar to 2015, except I wasn't in tenth this time. I was in fourth. Is this something we're gonna see from you more often? I was running free today, man. It was uh, this was pure instincts today. I I was overthinking things a lot. I had a huge monkey on my back after the Olympics, and we just said, let's get in here and run free. Um, if that's what's going to take to win races, maybe. But I'm going to do what I'm comfortable with. Thank you. Thanks, guys.